Hi guys! As we get closer to summer, you may notice that the days are getting a little bit warmer and also a little bit longer. So we're getting more time in the sun. So today's lesson is all about a flower that gets its name from the sun. And of course, I am talking about the sunflower. So sunflowers are unique in many ways. One of them is their likeness to the sun, which really makes them kind of a symbol of brightness and cheeriness. Um, they also make great gifts. There are certain cultures that when you give someone the gift of sunflowers and they're really pretty in a bouquet, it is actually a sign of loyalty and adoration. So it's a really good gift for Mother's Day, just throwing it out there. But probably the coolest thing about sunflowers is actually a little bit of nature magic that's called phototropism. So phototropism could actually be broken that word into two parts that um, come from the ancient Greek language. And photo means light, and tropism means a turning in response to an outside stimulus. So what sunflowers do, they not only look like the sun, but they have phototropism, or they um, follow the phenomenon of phototropism. So what they do is they actually track the sun as it moves across the sky throughout the day. So this is how it works. In the morning, a sunflower is facing east when the sun rises. Then, as the sun travels from east to west, the sunflower follows its path and then follows as it sets in the west. In the morning, the sunflower resets itself so that the next day, it can do it all over again. I mean, that's super cool. So, not only are sunflowers really neat, but um, their seeds are edible. So we usually have sunflower seeds and during baseball season, I feel like they're everywhere. We don't have any right now, but sunflower seeds are really good for you. They're full of vitamin E, they have protein, they have iron. And another way that you can enjoy them is actually you can eat sun butter, which is like any sort of nut butter, but it's made from sunflower seeds. So sometimes it's called sun butter or sunflower seed butter or just sunflower butter. So, um, yeah, that's a good way to enjoy them. And then as for planting sunflowers, now is a really good time. Of course, you wanna plant them in a sunny spot, but they're really good to companion plant with your fruit and vegetable plants. Not only do they bring brightness and cheeriness to your garden, but they will attract your pollinators and they will attract ladybugs. So it's really good to have these guys in your garden. So um, have a great day and stay tuned if you guys would like to learn a really easy, healthy recipe that you can make with your families at home. And the main ingredient is, what are you going to call it? Sun butter, sunflower seed butter. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Kiddos, I just want to share with you a really quick and easy recipe that you can make at home with your families. It only takes five minutes, and it only needs five ingredients. So the tools you're going to need, you'll need a plate, you'll need a bowl, some sort of mixing spoon, your measuring cups, and also some measuring spoons. The five ingredients. You need some old-fashioned rolled oats, just raw, some sun butter. I'm going to use sun butter. If you prefer peanut butter or a different type of butter, you're welcome to use that at home. We always use sun butter in the garden just to protect those kiddos that might have allergies to other types of nuts. Sun butter is a good safe one. Um, you're going to need honey, coconut oil, and your dried blueberries. And Remember, just drying our fruits is just another good way that we could preserve both the taste and the nutrients of a fruit so that we can enjoy it long after the expiration date. So those are my five ingredients. So I have taken two cups of the rolled oats, put them into my bowl. Then I added one cup of the sun butter, also put that in the bowl. Then I added a half cup of my honey and then two tablespoons of coconut oil, put those in. And then the last ingredient, I put about three-fourths cup of dried blueberries. You could do more, a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how you like it. And then I'm just gonna mix them all together. And you really gotta put a little bit of muscle into it. But I'm mixing it. And then the last tool that I'm gonna use is actually my hand. You take the mixture, you press it between your palms, and you roll it. Oh, I'm gonna press it a little bit better. And I'm just gonna roll it into a ball. And just a little trick, 
if it's a little bit sticky, maybe the um, sun butter was a little liquidy, then you can stick it in the fridge for about 15 minutes and then take it out and roll it and it's a lot easier. And then you've got your little snack ball. So you can eat these right away. You can stick them in the fridge. Sorry. And they can, if you keep them in the fridge, they could last for up to seven days or you can freeze them and they'll last for months. So try it, you guys. It's really good and it's fun to play around with it. You could use dried cranberries, you could use raisins, chocolate chips are also kind of good. That's it. Thanks guys.